Pigeon racing is a sport that requires a lot of dedication and time. You have to care for your pigeons every day and train them to come home. It takes many years to become a successful racing pigeon fancier. The thing you've got to do with pigeons is to get them fit, healthy, the loft has got to be right, it's the condition of the pigeons, you've got to have the ventilation right, it's got to be dry and reasonably warm. And then the pigeons, you've got to motivate them to want to race home. When they let go, they can go where they like. You've got to get it into their head to come home as fast as they possibly can. There's loads of methods of doing this. Basically, they'll come back to their eggs, little babies, to, the, to their mates. And one of the ways to do it is to separate them from their mates and then show them the cock or the hen the day you put them in the basket to send them off to the race. And then when they come home, the cock or hen's waiting for them two or three hours and then you take them away again. You're always trying to improve, you're always trying to get faster pigeons, better pigeons, more intelligent pigeons. You have to keep control of the pigeons all the while. You have to exercise them morning and night for about an hour in the morning, an hour in the evening. And uh, when they come down, you must get them in as quick as possible. Because when you're racing, they have an elastic ring on their leg. And this you have to take off when they come back. So you have to get the pigeon in the loft and you have to pick it up to take the ring off. So the pigeon must have the habit of when it lands is to go straight in and not hang around and sit on the loft because you're just wasting time and lose the races. Feed them out at least once a day, twice a day, if you can. As long as it's dry, it doesn't matter. You know, some people put what they call deep litter on the floor, which is an absorbent material, like sand or shavings or something like that, to take the moisture out of the droppings, and that, that kills the bacteria and the germs in it. And then um, there isn't a problem. As long as you've got no damp coming in the loft, as long as you haven't got any root, leaky roofs or anything the bacteria can't live in it, so your pigeons are healthy. And if you can clean them, if you've got the time to clean them out, and most of mine, when they're on Widowwood, it only takes five minutes to clean one section out, if they're done twice a day. So it's easier to do that. You put rings on the babies when they uh, between five and ten days old, these are registration rings. The pigeons then are your property and are registered to you. They have to have these rings on to be able to race them. And then um, as they grow older they start flying when they're five, six weeks old. 
um, you can start racing them 10, 12 weeks old. Old bird racing starts in April through to young birds in July to September. Distances start from about 70 miles up to anything 6, 700 miles down as far as Spain. When you send them to a race, they've got um, you join a club. You go down a marking station, and they'll get a form. You'll get a form like this to fill in, where you put the ring numbers, colour, sex, and then you add that in. And then they put the metal ring number down, and then they'll put an elastic ring on their leg with a number on it, which also goes on the form. When the pigeon comes back, you have to take that elastic ring off the leg. You don't know the numbers on it and clock it in one of these. This is a clock. You put in a little thimble, you drop it down in this hole and you go up and you strike it like that, which turns that aperture round and locks it so you cannot get in there. The clocks are then sealed up there with a the club seal. If that's broken, you're automatically disqualified. What it does when you clock a pigeon in, that's the thickness. The pin goes in there, you turn that. That moves that round, which has got the ring in, so you cannot get it out anymore. It also stacks the time on the dial there that the pigeon came back. So you've got the identification of the pigeon in there and the time it come back on there. When you take that down the club at night, they take all this off, check that this hasn't been. If the seal is broken, you're disqualified, so there's no way you can fill them or anything. They check the time, that's divided into the distance that the pigeon's flown and you get a velocity in yards per minute. These clocks are set to another clock which is called the master timer, which is this one, which is set to Tim. These clocks are then struck to that one and any variation in the clock in the days that they've used, if that gains two or three seconds to that one, which is the exact clock, then the time is adjusted. So you, you've got the exact time within a second. I was 11 or 12 when I started secondary school. All the kids used to have 
tapes, animals, rabbits, pigeons and everything. I used to take a lot of my pigeons to school and sell them for 50 pence each, knowing that most of them would get out, come back, take them back again, and sell them to different people, different coloured pigeons. And they didn't know they'd get the same one back, a different one. Two or three days later they'd turn up again, one 